So yes, changing cookies. Um, if you get deep enough into vintage computing, uh, eventually you find that old floppy disks, old three and a half floppy disks, have a very unique look to them. A lot of times you've got a nice uh, shutter with uh, lettering on it. Um, the feeling of the plastic itself is, is nice. They're a little bit thicker. But unfortunately, even though the disk can look nice on the outside, inside you can come up with something like this where the spindle is detached and you can see how this is all moldy and ruined. This will never work as a disc again. Um, its friend was the same way actually. You can see there's a shadow from where the shutter or the opening was. This should be perfectly perfectly smooth. Clean. Even not with this this kind of patterned surface on it, let alone missing the uh, drive spindle. So, what can you do? Well, you can actually get these uh, enclosures apart. So I've got a lot of these uh, newer uh, double density disks, orange enclosure. These work great, but orange is not very vintage. So let me show you how to get one of these apart. So step one in this process is to format your donor disk. You don't want to go through the whole process to discover that your disk has a bad sector on it, like I did with this one just now. So to get these apart, on the uh, back, they're only retained on the back. There's a, a little latch there and a latch there. And what I find works well is to pinch the disc a little bit get up under here. You don't want to bend the shutter. It's very easy to bend. But if you pinch the disc and kind of slide this back and forth it will pop off like that. And then you can slide it a little more and then the whole thing will pop off. Now there's a spring over here. So what we're going to do is lift it like this let the spring relax. Now the shutter is off and I'll pull the spring out so it doesn't go flying. These are generally glued or plastic welded together. So what I'll do is from the slot that exists now at the top just start pulling gently and you can Start working your fingers around and then once you get one to pop, you can just go around. This is of course easier on these newer discs. And there we go. Don't touch it. You can see with this fresh cookie how perfect the surface is. So set that aside then to put Humpty Dumpty back together again take your old disc shell take it apart in the same way one thing you have to be careful of if there was any mold or dirt on on the disc if it got into this cleaning pad it's pretty much junk um, maybe you could change this with the one from the donor disc shell but I've not been successful with that so now we just uh, do the opposite. We'll set that in there. To put this back together, we'll use just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of super glue. So what I'm going to do is put some on this paper towel and then use this uh, Q-tip to just dab the littlest bit on the, uh, oops, I'm off camera, the littlest bit on these locations. You don't want much because if it squashes out and then it'll get onto the disc surface, plus if it ever screws up, you might want to, uh, you might want to be able to take it apart again. 
One thing to also keep in mind, the little right protect shutter can fall out. Be sure to put that back in, otherwise you have to take the disc apart to put it back. So now, we just take the top of the shell, set it on there, push, Okay, now we take our spring. There's a little, um, there's a little kind of slot that it can go in. And then you can pinch the disc to hold the spring out. And then take your shutter and hook. There's a little catch inside of there. You need to hook hook the spring. This can be a little bit of tricky. I'm pinching the disc to uh, to hold the spring in place. Didn't get it that time. This is probably the most fiddly part. Okay there, now it's hooked in the little hole. So I can take the shutter and start to move it back into position. Then on the back of the disc, there are uh, ramps to uh, help guide those tabs for the shutter on. So we can use those just like they did at the factory to click make sure that still moves correctly and now we have a repaired disk next step is to try formatting it again and also listen for any weird grinding noises it needs to be you know nice and uh, nice and silent Let me try, now I'll take uh, this one apart that I had tried to repair earlier, but put a bad cookie in it. Um, for those that don't know, the actual, the name of the disc piece that goes inside is the cookie, or the magnetic part. That comes off. Spring comes out. This one should open up a little more easily since I just glued it. Mm -hmm. I just work my finger along. You don't want to put too much um, pressure on there because if you bend the disc a whole lot it'll crease it and the whole the whole point of this exercise is, is appearance anyway, right? So. Um, it's weird, I could hear this going ding 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 in there, but I don't see anything on the cookie. Whatever. Alright, we'll take this one apart, so same thing. And of course if you're not, if you don't care about saving the parts, you can just rip the shutter off, but why damage it if we don't need to? All right. There's a cookie. Now, put some glue on the, uh, on the little plastic spots again. Just a little bit, not much. OK. 
Okay. Take our back part of this and set it on there. Oops. And push it together. And yes, the right protect thingy is still the slider is still in its proper place. Okay. Get our spring of a thing. Slide it into its little slot. That's right at the top edge of the disc where that needs to go in. And then grab our shutter. Hook the spring, slide it over, line up with the uh, ramps, there we go. That is now refurbished and we have two uh, early nice vintage looking uh, floppy disks. Uh, I've used this trick too on uh, some of these very early discs, the, the single-sided uh, ones that had bad cookies in them, uh, some Sony branded ones and whatnot, and you know, if you were, if you're giving a demo of a system, would you rather be using this disc or, the, or, or this disc? I think you'd rather be using this one, so not too terribly difficult. You just have to be careful. And the worst, or the the nice thing is, if you do screw it up, it was garbage anyway. So, all right. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments.